hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mimi so glad you decided to click on this video so please make sure if you enjoy today's video you hit that subscribe button you go ahead and like and you also share this content so I'll know you want to see more of your girl on your timeline and for you guys that's returning welcome back girl so glad you are still rocking with me okay so today's video you guys can already see what it's about we're here to talk about these new blushes by Pat McGrath and yo i am super excited to honestly be doing this review because we have waited so long for her to finally drop some blushes so if you guys are interested in seeing what your girl has to say about these new blushes then please make sure you keep on watching every day i wake up like a boss and i'll be thinking jesus fake is trying to get up in my circle i don't really need him we will see Alright guys, so as you guys already can see from the title of today's video, we're going to be talking all about these blushes from Pat McGrath. The internet practically begged her to put out blushes and honestly, I was not against it. I was very much with the ish, okay? I was very much with it. Alright, so one thing I really enjoyed about this launch overall is that she's always offering different types of combinations of kits where you can kind of get like a little taste of everything. And I ended up picking up the Venus in Flora Luxe Quad and then I did end up buying one of her trios and this is basically where you get to pick three of the blushes for $96 and she also offered a 10% off code along with free shipping so you know mother Pat she takes care of the girls when she does these launches and I really appreciate it so for these blushes they come in her signature black casing with her name Pat McGrath labs in gold lettering across the top and on the back it just has the little phrase that she using to describe these blushes and then of course the name so the first one I have here is Nymphet and this one is described as a soft pink with golden pearls i like my blushes to be fairly soft i usually like mine to be more like pinks um browns you know what i'm saying i don't dabble in color too much but uh i really want to just get what i was comfortable with until she decides to bring these in store and then you know i can go in and look at the rest of them but i really want to get the ones that i felt you know spoke to me the most y'all know y'all know how i be like if it don't speak to me i ain't getting it all right so this is how nim fet looks i absolutely adore the printing pattern she also chose to do on these blushes when i saw the initial rollout for the campaign of these blushes this one instantly stood out to me and i knew like i knew 100 i was buying this one so desert orchid is described as a bronze rose with golden pearls all right so here is how desert orchid looks uh love that color if you guys missed that youtube short definitely go check that one out if you want to see how desert orchid looks on my skin because today we're not going to try this one out because i already did all right, so the last one I end up purchasing is Nude Venus. This one is a peachy pink with golden pearls. All right, so this is how the Nude Venus looks. Very pretty as well. I will say, you guys, the formula of this is very smooth. Like, it doesn't feel dry or patchy or anything like that. I've never had a blush that didn't feel so powdery without it being a cream blush and this is the first time i've ever owned a blush that has a texture as beautiful as this one all right so here are the swatches of all three of the blushes so we have nude venus nymphid and desert rose like all three of these are just so beautiful i love that golden pearl like I love that golden pearl in here. I feel like it gives your skin that glowiness without adding the highlighter. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the Voyeuristic Vixen Quad. Uh, you guys, like this quad, stop it. Like, I love every single color in this quad. All right, so the lightest shade in here is called Moonlight Liaison. Then this rose tone one is called Rose Fire Nectar. Then our only matte shade in here is called After Dusk. 
And then the last shade we have in here is called a Twilight Bronze. This quad is absolutely impressive. Like I am completely impressed with these four shades. Like each and every one of them was super pigmented, super soft, very luxurious, very creamy. So those two sparkly crystalline pigments that she has in there, I literally can't wait to put those on my eye. I just know those shades are going to be to die for. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes really quickly, because I feel like um, I need a little bit of primer, just a little bit. All right, so you guys should basically already know, <laughs> we're gonna use, you know, the only matte shade they have in here. Okay, right, so next we're gonna take the color Twilight Bronze and I'm just going to apply this to my lid. Um, as you guys can see, I just took that purple and I just did a super blown out purple eye. All right, so I am gonna take a Moonlight Liaison, which is um, this shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner, just like that. I think I'm gonna go with Nymphit this time. But look how good that picks up. Like, look how much product that is. I'm just gonna start working this onto my cheeks. Look at that. When you start to put it onto your skin, like in person, it looks so much better. You can actually see the golden pearl reflecting. That's why I was telling you guys, like it's not really necessary to put on a highlighter when you get the one that has the golden pearl in it because it's going to make your skin basically glow. So that's how that side is looking. I really like this color, like, and it builds up really well. So if you want something a little bit more natural, of course, use a little bit less. And then also in the um, campaign, they even took a little bit and they put it along the temples, which I think is so fun because you usually I would never put blush like around my temples i literally feel like i need all of these blushes now like every single one all right so last thing i'm just gonna go ahead and do is just you know go add some mascara all that good stuff and then i'm just gonna come back to you guys and give you all my final thoughts all right so let's really just like get right into it so honestly i do wish that i would have purchased some of the demi matte blushes because i absolutely love the ones i purchased but um inadvertently i did buy all the ones that had the golden pearl in them um i feel like the color desert orchid which is the one that has uh the bronze in the golden pearl. This is gonna be perfect for the summer because I'm gonna get a little bit more tan. I feel like the Nymphit is my lightest one that I have. Also one of the lightest ones from the collection. So this honestly does let you know, like even if you're my skin tone, you can definitely wear Nymphit. I absolutely love this one as well. This one kind of gives me like my balance between the Desert Orchid and the Nymphit. It gives me that color like that's basically like in between the two. So as far as the Voyeuristic Vixen Quad, I mainly, honestly, I can do without these two shades and I can literally just have a palette with these two shades in it like uh these are stunning like rose fire nectar in the twilight bronze literally make this quad like they make it what it is so yeah you guys that's basically it for this review um 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and comment below what your favorite blush color was from this collection. Even if you didn't purchase anything, I would love to know the shade that spoke to you the most. So go ahead and let's get the conversation started in the comments below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. I think we should rule out.